Another new season, guys. We are now in autumn and we're raring to go. You can see here that the farm here is ready to be planted. The one back there is ready to be harvested. And I did see at the end of last season, if we come over to here, uh, oh, actually, both our donkeys have now grown up. So before it was just one of the donkeys. Now both of them have grown up. So we have some options there. We could actually uh, sell these guys uh, if we wanted to. We go into management, look at the animals, and see how much these donkeys are actually worth. So, for example, this one here, he's 4.25 years old. Uh, if we wanted to sell him, let's have a look here. This is actually really good to know. If you double click on the uh, animals here, the donkeys, you get the age of them right now and also their lifespan. So that's really good to know because if they get towards the end of their life, then we can sell them, right? And that way they don't just die and, and we don't get anything for them. What I want to see though is how much we can actually sell them for. Uh, and down the bottom here is where we can sell. And right now, Claude, for example, is worth 200. To me, I don't think we need the 200 that badly. Probably not worth selling at this point. But what we might do is move a couple of them over to new town or something uh, in the future. And we always check on the pigs, but it's usually a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, they just lie around not doing much. No breeding going on there. Uh, the geese, we did get one little uh, gosling. Uh, oh, and now that's grown up to be a goose. Okay, there we go. So our egg production stuff from them is going to go up. And we now have the one male and two females. So that might speed up the uh, reproduction rate. Not sure on that one. Now this field here is all oats. So we have a ton of oats here. As you can see that we can harvest. We can turn that into food or animal feed. And we're going to be good for a long time after that. Now, as it is autumn, uh, we want to check what things we can plant. But first of all, I just want to do a bit of a shout out. We've had a super chat, guys, from Brito. Thank you so much to Brito, the home of everything simulation. And uh, that's his name because he has a YouTube channel, as you can see here. So uh, do go check him out, guys. He's a good YouTuber, as you can see. And and thank you very much for that support. Now, through the night, I managed to make up a load of uh, stuff here. You can see that we've got, if we go down here, 20 uh, of the linen shirts to sell. And we also have all this stuff here left over to do other things with because we might need it for other things. And we don't need the money that badly. So this is kind of like a little bit of a bank going on here. And we're going to go into town and we're going to sell these right now on our way to our new town where we're going to start today's episode off. The other thing I want to check actually real quick is what my taxes are currently on. So 1100 right now. I think it's going to be roughly double that by the time we actually have to pay them. Um, but still, it's always just good to sort of keep an eye on that. But we have plenty of money, as you can see. And basically, each spring, I just plant down as much flax as I can. And that seems to be basically funding our entire town and everything we want to do for now, at least. I seriously have so many crashes on this horse. It's ridiculous. I feel sorry for Claude. He's involved in so many accidents. Poor Claude. And it's all because of my terrible uh, driving, horse driving. <laughs> anyway, let's see what we can sell those clothes for. So right now we're on 8,700 coins. Let's run up to anybody here. And uh, well, actually anybody that sells stuff would be good. So maybe this person here. There we go. And start to sell these shirts. Probably can't sell them all to one person. There'll be half there for 1,300. So we can get another 2,600 out of selling all this stuff, which is pretty awesome. Then we can sell another nine. We have to get one other person to sell the final one. Uh, let's see who we got here. Hey, dude, you're going to buy the last shirt off of us. There we go. And I'll have a quick check. I don't think there's anything else I want to sell. No, I've been trying to get my inventory managed a little bit better, actually, because it's something that uh, I've not been great at. Uh, but it can be a little tricky. There's a lot of stuff that we, we got here. But now we are on 11,400 almost, right? I like to round up. It's just easier. So we're doing very, very well. That's going to be, you know, around 9,000 plus uh, by the time we pay our taxes. And what I want to do is start spending some of that on things for the new town, like buying schemes that we can build and make it a bit more decorated and a bit nicer and stuff like that. The next question then is when do we actually start moving people into the new town? So I don't think that will happen today. I think we need to get a few more things set up first, but hopefully we can do it pretty soon. I think the sooner we get things moved over to here and a more sort of permanent town established here, then we can take down the other town and we'll be good. I have to say autumn is a lovely time of year as well. Look at this. Pretty beautiful here with all the uh, trees and the river and stuff like that. And it's all kind of orangey. I do really like autumn in this game. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Shall I share that with you guys? <laughs> You'll remember in the last episode, this is what we built. A little neighborhood area right here for our town. And I'm pretty happy with it. But there are a few things that uh, we want to do now to make it look a little bit nicer. One thing is, I thought we could put a fence that will start on the right-hand side of this building where uh, Claude has got his head going through there. I told you, poor Claude. Lots of donkey crashes for him. Uh, but that could go back towards the river. And we could do the same on the other side. And then maybe like mirror it with a fence going up this way as well. And then over here, we could have some useful buildings. So that would be things like maybe the kitchen where they can cook their food and the food storage and stuff like that so that we can have them like coming from the houses across the road here to get everything they need and have a bit of a, a contained sort of area. Someone also suggested that we might uh, put in some animals around here like chickens and things, which I was considering. And uh, now that we've had that suggestion as well, it's something we'll look at doing that and just make this feel a little bit more like a neighborhood. So to start off, let's have a look at what we've got here and what our options are. And I think what we want to do, if we go to, let's see, furniture and decorations, 
campfires. This one here is the first thing I think I want to get, which is the stone campfire. Now, we could do the simple campfire and the wooden campfire, but the stone one, it does seem to be the best, and we've got plenty of money, so let's go ahead and get that one uh, there. And now we need to get the resources for that, and we're going to place it down in here somewhere. Then, uh, once that's built, we're going to want to have some, some seating, some benches and stuff like that around the campfire. Uh, now, we've got all different things here. We've got this nice wooden bench here, which is four planks. This one here is a bit cheaper, uh, and this one would be cheaper again. I think, though, it's probably good to have, like, different types of benches, right? So, uh, I mean, honestly, I might just buy, like, all of these that we can build. So we can't build that one, but we can build these. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's buy them all. Okay, so we're going to buy all these. We're going to go get the resources for them in a minute, but these are the things I'm going to build. Uh, and then there's also, like, chairs and stuff. I think this one's really nice, the sitting stump. That's going to have a lot of uses. I'm sure this one will have some, too. Uh, what else do we want to build? Well, there's nothing else really available. Well, these are available. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go crazy. I'm going to buy all of them. And let's just see what we want to build once we get to that stage, I guess. Now, lighting is another cool one that we want to look at. Uh, so let's see what have we got here. We can buy a standing fireball. That sounds pretty cool. And we've got the standing torch. We'll buy that one. We'll buy that one. These here I'd love to build. These lanterns look amazing, but we don't have the ability to build those just yet. That's fine. Some flower pots in the area could also be really cool. There's these square flower pots, clay flower pots, things like that. We do have a load of clay so I think, why not? Let's get like a load of these built as well. Again, I'm buying them all because we want to do different ones so that it uh, adds a bit of variety in. The trellises could be cool. Let's buy those as well, all the ones that we can buy. And I'm just showing you all this on camera so you know what I'm spending all my stuff on, basically. Now, laundry, that's great for around the house, but there's nothing here we can build yet apart from the wash tub. So we're going to build that one later on. That would be good. There we go. We've bought ourselves a load of different things here that we can now uh, place down if we want to in the future. What I'm going to do now is uh, get a load of materials together and start placing some of these things down. But I realized actually the only thing I've forgotten was the fences. We've got gates and we've got fences here. So let's have a look at what our options are right here. I mean, plank fences is all, very, all well and good, but it's going to be really expensive to do. Whereas if we build something that's like log fences, it's going to be a little easier. And the stick fences will be much easier again. And for now, stick fences might be the better way for us to go. So yeah, let's buy like the low wattle fence and the wattle fence right there. Uh, let's just buy all of these and then we've got the options for them and let's go into let's see uh, gates here stick gates and we'll buy the stick gates that we ha have here as well so we've got all different options then to create that sort of fenced area in and around the uh, neighborhood so the first place I want to start building the uh, fences that we just bought here if we go to our stick fences is going to be around here now if we go for the oh, okay it doesn't actually show us how high this is first hmm, okay because what I was looking at if we go back into the fences uh, right here you got the low wattle fence and the wattle fence I'm worried that the, the the high one is gonna like cover the buildings a bit too much. So let's start with a low wattle fence right here and let's see where we wanna go. I guess we'll go from like the road, right? So let's build from like there. We'll leave a little bit of space down the side of the house. Oh, is that how low it is? Okay, now it shows us. Okay, so let's see. I think that's uh, maybe a little too low. So let's go for the uh, stick fence that's a bit higher than that. Again, we'll go from the road that's like about here. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, so we'll come down like this and I basically wanna come down to the river and then do I want to have gates going out the back? I suppose we could do it like that. So if we build it to like here, I'll try and straighten that up a bit. We'll go along the back and we'll have gates to get in and out so they can get to the river, but they're still protected. So maybe about there. Now, I think in this game, it's nice to have it where it's not necessarily perfectly straight and stuff like that. This is meant to be medieval time, so it kind of makes sense. Uh, now, all we have to do is grab our hammer and then we can go on and do a load of building here, which as you can see, is going to take a little bit of time because there's eight sticks per fence piece. So we do that and that is going to be eight. Then we have to do the same over here. So obviously I'm not going to do all of this on camera, um, but I just wanted to give you guys a general idea of what we're looking to achieve. So I think what I'll do now is complete the fence around the side of the houses here. Then we'll have to put some gates in across the road and uh, do some things on the other side of the road as well. We'll have our nice little fenced in community. As you can see, the fence is coming along quite nicely along the back here now. And uh, as I say, it's not perfect, right? There's little gaps and things in here, but I kind of like that. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that though, guys, uh, if you agree or not. But one thing that I just figured out, if we go to the fences that we're making here and this one, is you can actually do corners a bit easier than I've been doing them. And you guys might already know this, uh, but sometimes it's the littlest things in the game that you don't realize, even people that have played a long time. So what we can do is come to like roughly where we want this fence to go. So it'd be about there and hopefully that's straight enough. Yeah. And then when we left click, we can just carry on like this and it will create a perfect corner rather than you guys trying to create a corner yourselves, which if you've tried that, is it can be a little bit tricky. So let's see, we want to come right up here. I wanted to go from right up to the road. It's not going to happen. That's fine. That's life. <laughs> so what I'll do, actually, I've got a nice idea. So if we come, get it nice and straight, come to like there-ish, that's straight enough. And then if we come off this way, let's see if we can get to the road 
through here. Do we want to do that? Or does that look a bit crap? That looks a bit crap. I don't like that anymore. Uh, okay, so maybe this will just connect up to the side of this house here. Let's have a look. So that will come around there like that. I don't hate that. I think it could be better. But again, the fact that it's not perfect maybe just adds the medievalness of it. Or maybe that's just my cop out. Um, or we could bring it around the front here. That's another option. If we brought it around the front, then we could have a way in and out. So I was hoping it would connect up to the road. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do, let's see. If I go to destroy... Oh, do I have to destroy this whole fence? If I just left click that? No, okay, great. So we do like that. That'll be great. Uh, now we'll go back to build and we'll have another stab at this. So what I think I'll do, if we grab... What am I doing here? This fence right here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be close, but it should be right. If we come like this side of it, like about there, get as close as I can. Can we come down along the front like this? It's being blocked. Hey, let me figure this out. Okay, this is what I came up with in the end. So the fence now comes around this house here, as you can see, and then does connect up to the road here. Then obviously on the other side, we're going to do a fence from like here, going up and around this way, or as best we can anyway. So that should hopefully all connect up in the end. Definitely think it looks nice though with this fence around it. Uh, in terms of sticks though, we are running a bit low, uh, surprisingly. I had like 500 when I started this, but boy do these fences use them up quick. I suppose as well it's to do with the scale that we're building at. As such, this may need to be a bit of an ongoing project and not something that we complete today. We're going to hopefully be able to complete the fence on this side of the road today, but as for the fence on the other side, that might be something that I add over time. Just doing a little bit of farming, and I know I've done a lot of farming on camera throughout the series, but uh, I did have a good tip here from Daniel. And as you can see here, if you turn your body... Oh. Um, <laughs> okay, let me go make up another scythe. Um, I had another tip. Hang on, let me just uh, find this other tip. Okay, sorry to whoever left this comment. I can't seem to find it, but they were saying about unlocking a scythe from the smithy. Uh, so if we go into our smithy, if I can find it, I always get confused about which one's which. Uh, and apologies for it being a bit dark, but I'm going to be doing this uh, right now. So let's see, copper tools. There is no copper scythe. Is there a bronze scythe? So there's a bronze sickle. Yeah, there is a bronze scythe. We're just not quite there yet. That's really frustrating. Okay, so we just need a little bit more production and then we can unlock that one. So that is what we will do. Um, as you saw from the comment that I was basically trying to show you more of, uh, and I can't buy uh, a, a scythe at the moment instantly because obviously at the moment the uh, villagers are all asleep. Uh, so I'll have to show you this another time. But I'm finding if I zoom out, I, the farming becomes a little bit easier. And if you move your body whilst you're harvesting, then you actually harvest a larger area. Now this might still work with the sickle to a lesser extent, um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to show there. So maybe I'll try and show this a bit later on. But uh, thank you for the comment and thank you for the tip. It was helpful until it died. <laughs> With the fences built around the neighborhood, the next thing I want to do is make a bit of a central area here where they can gather each morning around a fireplace. And this is the centermost house, so it makes sense to make it sort of in line with this. We go down to the campfires here. We're going to build the stone campfire that we bought before. And then it's just a case of trying to put it in a good spot. Now, I want to leave enough space behind it this way. So I honestly think like about... There, that should be fine. <laughs> that looks pretty good to me. Uh, now this is, uh, okay, we can light it if we get a torch. Let's do that a second. I don't have any straw on me, so I should come back uh, with a torch in a second. But what we can do is look to build some of the uh, benches and stuff around here. So let's see what we've unlocked and what's available to be built. We can build this one for now because these require some planks, which we do have planks, but we just don't have them on us. So let's see where we want that to go. I think what we want to do is leave a bit of space around the campfire. Um, and maybe actually let's see how far back we can go on this side because that's closest to the road. We actually go back pretty far, that's cool. So we can get like one like that and then rotate it a bit and go around like that and have a few different benches here. So that's gonna be quite nice, a nice little spot for them to sort of gather in. So let's put maybe those two in there for now. Uh, that's actually a little bit far away, isn't it? So, I'll, But I'll make a little campfire thing here and I'll get some planks and we'll make that up properly. Now the other thing I wanna do is under my skills section, I wanna use this Master of Destruction. So let's level that one up. And the reason we wanna do that is we get half the resources back then whenever we delete stuff. So for example, if this bench here is too far away, so we're gonna destroy it and replace it, at least now we get some of the materials back from it. I've got some planks now, so we can come back over here. What I did is rather than having the same wooden benches exactly opposite each other, I wanna kinda of mix it up a little bit so things look a little bit different. I'm assuming these benches will look slightly different. Let's see, how close can we get that one? We place that like there. Yeah, it does look a little different. And then with this one, maybe we'll go like over here as well. So we try and get as close as we can. So it's still around the fire. Once these trees regrow, this could be quite nice because this fireplace, the seats for it will be sort of under the trees. Now we just need some sort of benches over here. Uh, what I was thinking though, because if we go to benches, we've only got the three different types uh, available to us. And I think that one's too fancy to be around a fireplace at the moment. So instead of that, we'll use uh, a couple of these sitting stumps. I think a few of those could be really good. So let's go like one there, one like come around here a little bit there and one there. So that way it gives the fireplace a little bit of character where everything looks a little bit different. Now, do I have the materials just to grab some sticks and then we can make up the uh, fireplace itself? 
I believe I have some over here. I'm using this as like a temporary storage thing. Let's see, we need to pick everything up to get it out of the way. And yeah, we're getting uh, encumbered a lot because I'm carrying around a lot of different heavy materials at the moment, uh, as is uh, the way with this game. But we can now light this up. There we go. And our campfire is ready to go. Uh, oh, no, we don't want to sleep. We just want to have that lit. So people can gather around here. It will keep them warm and stuff like that. Actually, let's put a couple of sitting stumps over here as well. I think that would be nice. So let's go to the stumps once again. Let's do some log stalls, actually. So we've got another different one again. So they can go like one like that and one like that. Now, this is like enough seating for way more people than we currently have. Uh, but that's fine. You know, it's still like a cool little place that we can come to. Uh, and this gap here actually kind of likes is near the houses. It's sort of like a little entrance into this circle around the fire where people can sit down just like we are right here and enjoy the uh, the fire and the company of each other. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's uh, kind of a, a nice little touch we got going on here. The next thing I wanna look at is under the uh, workstations, the laundry, we've got these wash tubs right here. I think it'd be nice to have some of those around. Now, because it's laundry, I'm assuming that what they uh, theoretically are, are actual laundry wash basins where you wash the clothes. Uh, it says here, WTDT, can be used for cleaning. Oh, it can be used for cleaning yourself. Okay, cool. Can these be placed inside houses? Let's have a look here, see if we can give them a wash tub. No, it has to be outside. Okay, they like to bath outside, it seems. Now, I'm trying to think about the lore of how they would do this in medieval times, and I'm guessing you'd probably want to have this down near the river, right? That would kind of make sense that you'd have this. So maybe we can create like a bit of a wash area out the back of these houses here uh, that's near the river. That's what they'd use to wash themselves. So for now, I'll just place the wash basin down somewhere out here by the river. That seems kind of cool. Um, let's see, required is a bucket of water. So we'll make that up. We'll get that sorted. We'll fill this one up uh, later on. And that'll be that. And this might develop over time. We have some laundry and stuff out here too. Um, but I'm just wondering, we had, let's see, if I go over to decorations, I think it was under plants and trellises. These right here, with these little trellis walls, do we want to make like a bit of a, a, a thing here where they can kind of be enclosed a bit while they're doing their washing? You know, does that make a bit of sense to maybe have... Hmm, how do we do this? Let me have a think about this. So at the moment I just did this where it's kind of protected on a couple sides. So once the water's in there, somewhere they can come and just have a little bit of privacy. Not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> not sure if it looks good or not. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see what you guys say about this one down in the comments. But you kind of get the idea I'm going for, I guess. Just not sure it's looking all that great. The next thing I want to look at is the lighting. And we have uh, the standing torches. Oh, dear, dear, dear. The next thing I want to look at is plant pots. So let's go here to see what we've got available to us. So for example, these stone uh, flower pots. How do these look? I mean, what we could do is put them just outside their houses, right? Maybe one each side of the door. So we put one there and one like there. Then is there a way? Let's see. We can press E to decorate that. Okay, so we bring flowers up here. All right, that's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and place these down outside each of the houses. I think that's going to be really nice. What I might do is try to mix it up a bit and have some clay ones and some wooden ones as well. So let's dot them around a bit. So maybe like put those two there. Um, we'll do two for each house. So that one can have a wooden one. Then this one won't have a wooden one. This one can also have a wooden one. And I think as well, um, oh, that, yeah, that did go down up on here. Now, are we able to do this? Because it's up here. This is going to have to be done a little bit differently. So I'm wondering actually what could look kind of nice here. If we go back into the plants and trellises, uh, this right here could go along the front of this house potentially. So if we place one like there, can we get a second one in there? Hmm, okay, let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, I didn't have the resources, but now that I do, I'm just wondering... Oh, yeah, okay, we can just about get that in there. How close can we get this thing? Get as close as I possibly can about there. Okay, cool. So then it's like that on the underside. It's kind of nice. And what we could do then is have that as a little flower garden down there. So if we go back to these things... Oh, we're like running low on resources. You guys get the uh, picture, though. Uh, there's going to be a lot of fiddly stuff that I'm doing now. It's probably not going to be the most entertaining to watch. So I'm going to do a lot of this stuff off camera, and then I'll show you guys how we've done the flower pots when we come back in. The latest update with the neighborhood is there's the mine over there, and we've got these gates here going across the road with the neighborhood just in here behind us. So you can't build fence across the road, but you can build these gates across the road. So we've had to build three of them in order for this to work. But I think you know, that works pretty well as far as I'm concerned, and, you know, it like boxes it off nicely and stuff and this fence then comes up here as far as we could get it before we run into these rocks the next thing i want to do though is actually to build a building and the reason for that is if we go into the decorations i was looking at lighting being the next sort of project and we want to, to make some of these standing fire bowls uh, which require a clay bowl per one and in order to make the clay bowl we're going to need to build the workshop level two we do have a workshop level one back in our other town and we could upgrade that but i figured instead of that let's just build a workshop level two over here because we're going to need it so let's see if we go into production workshop level two this is what it looks like where do we want to put this and how do we want to have the buildings over here that is the question 
And actually, I'm going to spend a little time thinking about this out and plan it out, and then I'll come back and build it. So actually, I think it could be nice if the buildings are just placed uh, where they face across the, the road here. So we have the front of this building here like this, and we want to get it over as far as we can and maybe go back as far as we can with each building as well. So then all the space will be like in front of those buildings, we place it there. And then in front here, we have the opportunity then to do things like decorational stuff and whatever, and then they'll go all the way along there. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll do a little time-lapse of this being built and then let's see what we can actually make with it once it's been built. Here we go, the workshop level two is now complete, a modest building, but it does look quite nice. And uh, it's got like the nice plank roofs and the wooden uh, sides to it and stuff like that. So it's kind of good because our town is a little bit more than just all the, the basic stuff. Uh, so that's good. Uh, let's head inside and see what we have available to us. So we have a pottery wheel and on the pottery wheel, we can craft all things clay, including this clay bowl right here, which is what we need. So in fact, let's just buy that while we're there. We'll make some of those up in a minute. And then if we go over here, we also have this, which is the workbench, which is where we can craft all the usual suspects from the workshop level one. So everything we already know about there, of course. And actually some of these might be nice to do. And then we could make some little decorations like that, which can probably be placed uh, inside, hopefully, the, the houses. Uh, and talking of which, let's go and have a little look at those a second. But there we go. There's our workshop. And to be honest, this is starting to get a really nice feel to it now, where we've got something going on on the other side as well, like a production thing. The mine there in the background, I can't wait until I'm able to actually build the mine uh, in that area too. And then obviously all the houses over here. But if we head inside to these houses and uh, we have a look around here, I think, let me just check something. Okay, so we have to be holding the hammer, that's what it is. And then when we look at the walls, we can decorate them. Uh, let's see, so current decoration just says empty. We can click on that. Oh, and then there's all kinds of things we can put up on here. So so like these trophies that I found uh, before, the deer trophy, for example, we can put them up there. Uh, we can have shelves and then I guess we can put things on those shelves. Okay, that's cool. We're going to have a lot of fun with that. Let's see if we can get to that later on in today's episode. Uh, but yeah, that's looking pretty good already. Let's make up some of those clay bowls now, and then we can light up this area, and I think it'll look really cool at night time then. We're going to do some lighting now around here, but uh, whilst I was away, I also added one of these things. It's called a dove coat. Quite a nice little birdhouse there. I'm not sure if we'll get any birds actually flying in and out of it, which if we do, it'd be really nice. Perhaps it just adds the noise, though. I feel like I'm hearing more tweeting now, but I might just be a bit more aware of it now that I've built that. But yeah, so it's coming on quite nicely. We want to keep building these little things uh, as we go through. Now, if we go to the lighting, we're going to get the standing fire bowl. We'll see what that looks like. Eventually, I want to do these lanterns because they just look absolutely amazing, but we're not there yet. Uh, we can also, at this current stage, do standing torches if we wanted to as well. So we'll see how we go. But let's see what these are like. So these are these bowls right here. Now, where do they want to go? So I think we should have one either side of the sort of entrance here. So put one there and one just up there like that. That seems to make sense. Like we light up the entrance as they come in. So that's cool. Then we could go for like street lighting with these. And maybe we'll do that. And then eventually we'll change them to lanterns. So we'll come down here like this. We'll place one maybe just like here. So we're just after that corner. That's kind of cool. And then we'll go across the road and place another one. And Claude is a little bit in the way, but there we go. So we can still place that down. Then for the next one, we'll go like here down the middle of that alley, I reckon. That's kind of nice. Then we'll do another one down here, like as if it's in the middle of that alley, like that. Now let's make sure we go across the road for each of these as well, so that they kind of match up. I think that symmetry will be nice. Kind of like medieval street lighting, you know, that, that seems like it's a, a good plan to me. That one can go just like there like that. And then the final ones will go up here, because this will be the entrance once again. Uh, so they'll be either side of that. So there and like over here somewhere should be fine. We'll, we'll have to figure that out when we do the fence. Now in order to light them, how does this work? How do we... Um, they just light automatically at night time? Looks like it. Nothing's happening here at the moment. I hope so. I hope they light up. Uh, we'll have to check that out when it gets to night time. If we open up our map right now, it's only 4.30. So maybe in a couple hours in game, they'll light up. Uh, but I'll keep you posted on that. We'll see how that one goes. But it looks like we don't have to actually light them ourselves. Is this fire gone out now? Hmm. Okay. That's annoying. I wish they just stayed lit. That would be kind of cool. I wonder if there's a way to do that. Maybe the villagers will do it themselves when they get here. Not sure. Anyway, it's looking pretty cool. Let's have, uh, come back down here, have a little look at how our street's looking now. Yeah, it's kind of nice, right? I think at night time, if they do light up, it'll be really nice to see them all looking pretty good. Uh, and then as far as other lighting goes, I think we could have some other lights. To, and maybe if we go to the smaller light that we had, so these ones right here. So if I go grab a bit of linen, fabric, stones, and thread, we can place those standing torches down as well, just to mix it up a bit. So that could be street lights. Then we could have some, like, maybe down around these buildings. Yeah, that could be kind of cool. Okay, let's do that next. With these new lights, these ones right here, let's have a look. How do they look? Yeah, they are a lot smaller. That's sort of what I was hoping. 
So I think what we could do is have one maybe here like this, and this will light up quite nicely, hopefully. I don't want to put anything here because I think this will look really great for loads of laundry lines and stuff like that out the back of these houses. So I want to keep that kind of relatively free. Um, but we'll just put them down here like this just to light up these dark alleys. Don't want any dark alleys in our town, guys, because bad things happen down dark alleys, right? <laughs> Once again, they're not lit and it doesn't look like we do anything to actually light them, but I'm assuming they will light as soon as it gets to nighttime. And again, I will double check that and bring you guys in at the time to show you whether or not that's happened. And as I was stood here, they actually lit up. So it's still kind of, uh, oh, mind your uh, head there, Claude. <laughs> it's uh, still not really that dark. So they'll probably look a lot better during nighttime and I'll show you that. But just to confirm, they do light up. So that literally just happened as I was thinking about what I want to do next. Okay, time to do a bit more building and stuff now. So let's go to here. We're going to destroy these two things. So I've had a bit of an idea. So I'll destroy you and destroy you. Uh, now, do I want to leave this here or destroy it? I think I'm going to destroy it. Yeah, unfortunately I am. What we're going to do is we're going to move all this stuff. So let's go back on to build. I had a bit of a better idea, I think. So if we go to, let's see, furniture and decorations, workstations, and uh, actually, let's build the privy first. That's what I want to build for these guys. So that's not a workstation. That is a miscellaneous, a privy. So this is like an outhouse, right? There's a toilet right here that we're going to build for them. Now, what I thought is around the back here, we're going to have a lot of the laundry and stuff. And that makes a lot of sense to me. So I think that's a good idea. But we could create a bit of a private area where we have like the washroom. So what I'm going to do is place this one down here like this. And then let's go back to the decorations. And this time we do want the workstations, don't we? Because we want to do that. We'll place that down like there as well. So you got like the whole washroom kind of area going on. And what we'll do is if we go back to, let's see, under plants, trellises like this, this is one option, right? We can use this as like a trellis wall here to kind of like box that in. I think that's a nice way of doing it actually. So we'll have one like that and then we'll turn it around the other way as well. So we'll keep it like matching. We'll place that in there. Let's see how close we can get that. Yep, that's kind of cool. And then let's see, we need to give them some space to get into this. So maybe it needs to be a second one as well, doesn't it? So kind of like build off from there. So we'll build that one like that. We'll do the same way around the other side. You guys can see what I'm going for here. But basically, it's just an area they can come and like, you know, have a bit of privacy and use the uh, facilities, right? The washrooms and stuff. So I think that's kind of a nice way of doing it. And then what I reckon we'll do is we'll have it like this. So we'll box off like half of the front. Obviously, this they don't actually come and use this, uh, or at least to my knowledge, they don't. But I think that's a much nicer way of doing it. So then you've got this here in, in private. You can come around in here and you can wash. Obviously, we need to fill that up. Or you can come and use the privy, um, yeah, theoretically. <laughs> Again, we're just kind of playing a bit of role play right here. Now, there might need to be more lights in this area, actually, as we're looking around here. So that's something I'll look at. Don't know that I've got the materials on me right now to do it. But just as I'm looking around here, it seems a little bit dark. Let's go to our main street, though, now and see how that's looking. Uh, not terrible, yeah. Um, I think it's important to remember that before we had absolutely nothing. So it's not going to be blazing daylight during the, the nighttime. But it is cool that these things are, are, are all working here. So that's really nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is what we've just built around here. Actually, looks pretty cool from here as well. It adds a bit of greenery to it and stuff like that. Yeah, I quite like the look of that. Um, I'm going to build the same around the other side. Now, actually, do you know what? Something's really bugging me here. So I'm going to take this down. Uh, let's see, undestroy it. Just this bit right here. Uh, there we go. Because that's just bugging me. Let's try and get that placed a little bit better. I do like to try and get these things as good as I can. Um, so let's see if we can place that maybe out in front a bit more like that. That's better. So there's like less of a gap in there now. Yeah, I think it's kind of nice. Let me know what you think down in the comments, guys. But hopefully you guys agree that that's looking pretty good. Now we're going to do the same in this far corner over here. So it's matching and uh, then everyone's got plenty of facilities. As you can see, we have now progressed into winter and I'm really looking forward to seeing what our new town looks like during winter. But first, guys, we have some very exciting news. <laughs> here we go. We have some piglets. We've got one male. Oh, no, we've got two males. Okay, that's cool. I hadn't really looked at them yet. I just poked my head in the door. That's all we had piglets. I was like, i got to show this on camera, of course. We've been waiting for these guys for absolutely ages, so it's really good to absolutely uh, to actually have them now, I should say. Mummy and Daddy are over there. That's awesome. So, yeah, they are breeding. That's cool. Uh, the donkeys obviously can't breed anymore. We need to figure out what we're going to do with them. And the geese over here have not uh, been done any more breeding. The chicken house is full. So the animal breeding has been doing pretty well all up. Uh, the question now is what we're actually going to do with them, and I, I don't really know. But still, it's, uh, it's good times. Right now, though, me and Claude are going to head into town. And uh, there's a couple of things I want to do in there. One of the things is I want to uh, get a load of different flowers, buy a load of flowers, so we can make up those flower beds in the new town. I think that'd be cool. Uh, but the other thing is we are missing our cap. I'm not sure what I've done with it. I must have accidentally sold it because I can't find it in any of my storage areas. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy a new cap if I need one. Uh, although at the moment, we don't seem to be getting cold. Uh, so maybe we're actually doing okay. Uh, but in the future, I might need to get another one. Well, here's how our town looks during the winter. I have to say, it's pretty nice looking. 
Uh, one thing that did occur to me is I thought it'd be really nice actually if these lights by default stayed on during the winter and it's like they provide a little bit of warmth almost, you know, it could be uh, kind of a nice effect. But even so, the uh, snow-covered roofs and even the dovecote has a little snow-covered roof, <laughs> so that's looking uh, pretty cool. Now, I did manage to uh, add plants into all the plant pots, so there's dandelions in there, for example, there's some henbane over here, we've got uh, daisies, chicory, so we've got all the different ones going on, as you can see, uh, so they've been done. And over here, we went for a bit of a bigger flower garden sort of area, and once we unlock more decorations, we can do more and more of that over time. But it's nice because each house has its own unique thing going on, so it makes them all a little bit different. But obviously this will improve the mood of all of our uh, villagers and stuff as well, so that's pretty cool. So as always guys, thank you so much for all the support on this series. I do really, really appreciate it, and I'm glad you're enjoying the videos as much as I'm enjoying making them because it's been a super fun game to play. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100,000. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.